Hello everyone and welcome to Divi Modules, my name's David. In this video, I'll be giving you an overview of the Divi Modules Image Box module. I'd like to begin by first showing you the main differences between the standard Divi Image Module and Divi Modules Image Box, before then going through all of the available Image Box settings in more detail. So let's get started. When we use the standard Divi image module, it places the whole image onto the page. We can adjust the overall image size and apply border styles, box shadows and filters. But there's nothing that we can do to modify the image format or image crop. Divi Modules Image Box, on the other hand, places the image into an image box. This allows us to adjust the image box size by preset or custom amount, independently of the image itself. The image itself can then be sized by preset or custom amount, as well as positioned, rotated, and flipped within the image box. All of these settings are responsive, which means we can have different image formats and crops per device. Let's have a look now at all of the available settings in more detail. I have here a Divi Modules image box module with a picture of my beautiful daughter in it. Under the image box toggle, we can adjust the size of the image box by preset or custom amount. Under preset, we can choose from some common image formats including portrait, landscape and square. Under custom, we can adjust the height of the image box as either a percentage of the image box width or a fixed height. Image box sizes are responsive, so our landscape image on desktop could be square on tablet and portrait on phone. Under the image settings toggle is where we can adjust the image itself. We can size the image by preset or custom amount. When preset selected, the size of the image is determined automatically. There are three options to choose from. Resize image to fill its box. Resize image to fit its box. and squish image to fill its box. When squish image to fill its box is selected, it may result in some image distortion. When resize image to fit its box is selected, it may result in parts of the image box background becoming visible. And in this case, we can use the position sliders to adjust the position of the image in the image box. Finally, when resize image to fill its box is selected, it may result in parts of the image being cropped. And in this case too, we can use the position sliders to position the image within the image box. We can also flip the image horizontally, vertically, or both. Under the repeat settings, there are several options to choose from. Repeat image to fill box. Repeat image horizontally only and vertically only. Repeat image with gaps. And repeat image 
without gaps. Now let's have a look at the custom options. There are two important differences between preset and custom. Under preset, the size of the image is determined automatically. Under custom, it's set manually. The other important difference is that we now have the ability to rotate the image within the image box. Because all of these settings are responsive, it means that we can tweak our images so that they look right on any device. And not only can we have different image formats, but we can have different image crops per device. And keep in mind that this is all done with just a single image. The last settings that I want to show you in any detail are the background blend modes. The blend modes allow us to determine how the image will blend with a background colour or gradient. There are nine options to choose from. Multiply, Screen, Overlay, Darken, Lighten, Colour Dodge, Saturation, Colour, and luminosity. The blend modes are yet another way that we can modify the appearance of our images. The remaining settings under the content design and advanced tabs are largely the same as those you'll find in the standard Divi image module. And so I'll just go through them quickly. We can of course make our image link to a URL or light box. And we can apply border styles, box shadows, filters, transformations, and animation. The settings under the advanced tab are common to most Divi modules, and so I won't discuss them any further here. Well, that's it for this video. Hopefully you can see what a significant improvement Divi modules image box is over the standard Divi image module. For more information, please visit the Divi Modules website where you can see more live examples and download the documentation. Thanks for watching.